So today we're talking about what should you do when the numbers on the scale start slowing down. Now I'm going to start by saying that that's the most critical point in your weight loss journey. Whether you are a seasoned competitive athlete getting ready for a bodybuilding competition, or just a regular person trying to lose 10, 20 pounds, it's that point that's going to define whether or not you're going to be successful. It's going to define whether or not you're going to be successful because it's a point where you're probably going to start doubting. You're going to start doubting the process. You may start saying that this whole health eating thing isn't for me. You may start saying this diet isn't working for me. You may start saying that maybe there's something wrong with me. Maybe my genetics are such that I'm not designed to lose more than a few pounds and that I'm stuck here forever. It's at that point that we start making bad decisions. And the bad decisions that most people will make at that point is to quit. There are other bad decisions that are made which is to do an even more extreme diet. Try something that's newfangled, one of the fat diets, any of the diets out there on social media, or something that maybe one of your friends or colleagues was on and seemed to have some temporary results from. Desperation is the last place you want to be when you're making decisions about your health and about your weight loss. And in this video, I'm going to talk about what you should expect and the fact that having those numbers slow down and almost stop and sometimes even reverse themselves is totally normal. We're going to go over some numbers of what my client's weight loss looks like. And from there, you'll get some perspective. So you won't beat yourself up and you won't think that you need to make some radical move and you will stay the course. Stay tuned and we'll talk some more about this. So today we're talking about what should you do when the numbers on the scale start slowing down or stop completely. Now, before I go any further, I'd like to thank everyone for the tremendous support we've had so far for this channel. Thank you so much for tuning in and do be sure to like and subscribe because we have so much more content coming out and I want to make sure you're first in line to get it as it comes out. So on to our topic today, what do you do when the numbers on the scale slow down? As I said before, this is the most vulnerable point that you can ever be in. And I want to just get straight to it so that you can see what weight loss looks like. Because I think that many people, even seasoned athletes, don't really understand what weight loss should look like. Whenever you start losing weight, you're going to have an initial honeymoon period, a period when those numbers start going down. Now, if you look at these metrics here, this is the typical weight loss profile of one of my clients. This is a female client that came to me and we're going to look at what her weight loss looked like over the course of a few months. And you're going to see it's not going to be this dramatic, you know, loss of one pound per week. It doesn't work that way at all. If we look at the numbers, she starts off at 170 pounds and over the course of only, let's say a week or so, she's already lost five pounds. And then she goes down to 162.3 and then has a massive drop again to pounds all within a very short period of time. This is totally normal, but then something happens. That's the point that most of us tend to find ourselves at a point where we quit and, or we start making bad decisions. As we go along, we can see that that dramatic weight loss that happened in the beginning, all of a sudden starts slowing down. It starts slowing down in some points, it can even start going back up. However, because she was able to stay the course over time, the numbers again, started very, very slowly going down. Now this pattern is what I call the doldrums and the doldrums are this band near the equator where the winds are almost non-existent. Sailors back in the middle ages, whenever they were sailing anywhere around the tropics would have these periods where there was almost no wind whatsoever for their sails and they would 
pretty much just float around in one place and wait until the wind picked back up. Now, any voyage at that time had to have enough provisions to stick with it long enough to get through the doldrums. There's nothing else you can do. You can stick with it and go through it. It's the same when it comes to weight loss. We all have to go through what I call the doldrums. That period where everything starts slowing down because our bodies are conservative. Our body does not want to lose weight and it will do everything, fight you tooth and nail with changes, both physical and changes also that are mental to affect your behavior to make sure you do everything possible to not lose weight. In fact, that feeling of helplessness and the sense that you need to start back eating and get off this diet completely when you stop seeing the results that you want to see is even perhaps part of our body's natural way to trick us into doing everything possible to maintain as much body fat as possible. So by understanding what we're up against, it gives us a little bit more perspective. And what's also important is that the more weight you need to lose, the bigger that honeymoon period is. But if you only have a couple pounds to lose, it can be even more difficult. We're going to take a look at this particular weight loss model of one of my male clients. And you're going to see from there that it's not smooth sailing whatsoever. Now, here we have a male client of mine who was in very good shape, getting ready for a photo shoot. And he was actually in really great shape to start off. Relatively low body fat to start, probably somewhere around 10 to 11% or so. And we can see he starts off at 178 pounds. And there is a bit of a honeymoon period when he starts following the diet and doing the training you know, a loss of about four pounds initially over the first couple of weeks, but then it starts slowing down. You really start seeing that, that plateau, those doldrums that I talked about before until it gradually again, just starts creeping down as well over the course of several months. Now, both of those clients were completely on when it came to their diet. And my job really starts when those doldrums come in, when they get to that point where the number starts slowing down, because that's when they start to doubt. That's when you need the reinforcement. That's where you need the encouragement. That's where you need the cheering. And I want you to remember and bookmark this video the next time that you're trying to lose weight and you start seeing those numbers going down. I want you to hear me cheering you on. I want you to hear me saying that if your diet is solid, if you're eating unprocessed foods, if you are really on a healthy, wholesome and sustainable path, stay the course. Don't do anything extreme. Whatever you do, don't quit. You got this. You can get through this, but you have to understand that weight loss is a slow process and the further on you get, the slower it becomes. Remember. Always make those decisions when you're on firm ground, not when you're on the shaky ground of doubt and feeling desperate about where you are in terms of your weight loss. If you're on a good diet, like I said before, stick with it. You've got this and whatever you do, don't ever think there's something wrong with you. Weight loss just happens to be this completely frustrating process where it slows down the more you go. When the going gets tough, the tough get going. I know you're tough and I know you're going to get going. Thanks for tuning in at Excelsior.